Hi everybody and welcome back to Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today is day number three of our November challenge. Yes, so we have today a low impact hills and power walks workout for you. So if you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry because we're going to have all that displayed for you to see on your screen right over here. Then if you look over to the opposite side of your screen, you're going to see this nice long progression bar. That's going to show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Let's make sure we have a towel and a water bottle handy. And if you're ready to get sweaty, let's look down at that tread. Hit that star button in three, in two, and one. All right, we start two, five, three, five. We're only here for 30 seconds. What? Yep. All right, so just take a couple good deep inhales through the nose. Exhale, let it go. From here, we take it right onto a little baby incline, okay? So it's low impact, which means we're walking the whole entire time, but you will get sweaty. We're gonna have some moments where we pick up pace, and we're gonna have some moments where we pick up the incline. From here, we're gonna pick up the incline to a two and three, two and one. So give me a two on the incline, and you're gonna take it to a two, five, three, five. So if you're not on that higher end, maybe add on point one, point two, okay? because this is just the starting point. We're only here for a minute, and then we're gonna just take it down, flat road, last 30, and then get right into the nitty gritty parts of it. So, day three of this challenge, right? Day one and day two, we went hard. We still want you to go hard, but we want you to kind of replenish your body, replenish the soul. That's why this day number three is this low impact workout. You're still adding in the movement, right? Just a little less stress on your body, right? A little moment of relief. Still gonna get a little workout in, okay? 40 minutes, we gonna pump it out, okay? So, we got another 15 seconds, and you're gonna just take that incline off. You can keep the pace where it is, but we're gonna start taking it into our working pace. So, incline comes off in another four, another three, another two, take off that incline, and it's a 3-0 to a 4-0. So, somewhere in between, three is gonna be a little slower, four, you're gonna be closer to your power walk. After this, we got 20 seconds, and we go right into the workout. Two minute hill, one minute, one minute recovery. Three minute hill, one minute recovery. I'm just only gonna prep it like that, okay? I don't wanna confuse you, so just get, just listen, just listen and work, all right? We go four on the incline in three, two, pick it up, four on the incline, baby. Here comes the real work. You can keep the pace where it is, right? So you're 3040. You know, just if you feel like you have more to give, add on point one, point two. There's going to be a part in the second half where we go into those power walks. But here, on those inclines. And this is the lowest of the incline. So get steeper. All right, who's ready to work? Whoop, whoop, how are we feeling on day three? Day one and day two, right? Day one kind of like woke you up. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm here. Day two. You're like, oh, we put in work. Day three, you're like, oh, you guys are nice. All right. So I'm not going to tell you what day four is. You just going to go. All right. Two minute hill. And then one minute, you're just kind of recovering. You can take the pace down on that recovery. But if you want, just take it to a flat road. I honestly think probably your better bet. You don't need to take the pace off. All right. We're just getting warmed up. We're ready to work. You give me one more minute here. So inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. All right, so now that I got your attention, now that our body's getting nice and warmed up, let's just go over quick tips for running, okay? When we're running, I mean walking, when we're walking, when we're walking on the treadmill, it's heel to toe, heel to toe, right? And we're not touching the handlebars, right? So keep the sticky fingers off the tread, okay? 30 seconds, you can take the incline down, and you gotta breathe, all right? How are we feeling? Feeling good? It's gonna be the fastest one I feel like of all of this 40 minute, 40 minute walk. Squeeze the core. Work the arms. So it's like two minute hill, three minute hill, three minute hill, two minute hill. Don't ask why. That's just what it is. We're going three, two, one. Give me that flat road. Just feel the difference, right? Walking on the incline and then walking on that flat road because the hill's gonna get steeper and we're on it for a little bit longer after this one, okay? Three minutes and we take it to a five incline. At any point, grab some water, hydrate, but remember, we're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna keep working here. No stopping today. 
no quitting. This one is a, I know nobody's going to quit. This is when you just have to be like, all right, this is on the schedule. I have to make time. No if, ands, or buts. I'm not going to skip day three, right? Because it's walking. Now you're going to do it, right? Your body needs that moment. Your body needs, needs to still work, but it also needs like a moment to maybe not run if you're not used to running. So let's go. 15 seconds. You give me a five on the incline. In 10, in eight, in five, four, three, two, five on the incline. Three minutes, let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. How we feeling, feeling good? I know. Just a little bit of a bigger press off that back heel. You can kind of almost feel your glutes kind of activate a little bit more. And that squeeze in the butt cheek. Go wah, 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 wah. You gotta work them buns. You gotta work the buns. Oh, 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 oh yeah. You do though, all right, all right. That's what we're doing here. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. Shouldn't be that hard today, right? Listen, you can make this walk though even harder. If you're not at that 4.0, take it up to a 4.0 on that miles per hour, okay? On the speed. You're already almost one minute done with this hill number two. Two more minutes to go. Oh yeah, I'm starting to get it. The tingles. What are the tingles? It's when like your body is fully warmed up, right? You can feel the heat and just like comes through the body. It's gonna be a toasty one today. Let's go team. Pick it up, let's work. Pick it up, let's walk. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on. Two minutes left on the clock. We take it back to our flat road. Then we go, same thing, we just take it a one step higher. Six on the incline. Woo! So how are you feeling? Checking in with yourself mentally on this seven-day challenge. I know day three, right? By tomorrow, you're through that halfway point. Listen, stay focused, okay? Stay on it. Don't like skip one day. If you can't really try to devote the time, okay? You can do it. We got one more minute. And then you get to take it down right here. Oh yeah. Don't forget to smile. Cause walking is fun, man. <laughs> you're like, you guys are crazy. Walking is fun. It's not running, right? Sometimes when you get those running workouts, especially if you saw that seven day challenge, and you're like, oh, I've never ran before. I'm a little stressed out, I'm not gonna finish. You will, you will. It's designed for that, okay? You're gonna win. You got 30 seconds, then we take the incline down. You walk on that flat road. Two more rounds in the first block, okay? Three blocks in this workout, I should say. So you have the hills, then we have the power walks, and then we got the grand finale. Ooh, ooh. Here we go, 15 seconds. Whew. Not so bad this hill, right? We can take on more. I know you can. You have another six? Five, four, three, two, good. Take it down. Flat road. Did you hear that note? Oh, doing my vocal warms up on the ride over here. <laughs> you imagine? You see like someone driving and they're like, oh no, brown cow, like, <laughs> and the mirror to themselves. I was just doing car karaoke. All right. In my car, I could win a Grammy. I don't know about you guys. I am professional. Not out of the car though. So, I know you're all with me. Here we go, 20 seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. Get ready. Because we gonna take this bad boy up to a six on the hill. You ready for it? You got eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Give me a six on that hill. Come on, what do you want? How are you gonna get it? What are you gonna do for it? Just keep moving, keep working. That hill's getting a little steeper, right? Again, we're here for three more minutes. Three more minutes of fun. Keep working and squeezing. 
It's just a little baby hill. It's all six on an incline. It's not a big deal. <sighs> Every now and then, just start to recheck in with your body. I know it's walking, right? But sometimes we do start to cheat and we don't even realize it, right? Sometimes you'll be holding on to the handlebars. You don't even know you're doing it. Sometimes you'll be leaning too far forward, right? Leaning too far back. I just want you to kind of like, just kind of check in with your body as your shoulders, right? Pulling a little bit further back. Are your hips underneath them? Are you squeezing your core? Are you still have an arm swing, right? Small little things that are gonna help. You need the arm swing. Let them match the leg strides. Keep walking up the hill, you got two minutes. Two minutes, guess what? Then after that, one minute recovery. Then we have the two minute hill. And you're already done with block number one. Oh yeah. Block number two, I do believe is around the same, the same time. And said we're gonna go by power walks. Yeah, so we're not gonna take it up on a hill. We're gonna pick up the pace. Let's go, baby. Give me 90 seconds on the clock. Whew. Squeeze the core, work the glutes. Dance if you need to. Oh yeah. All right, you're more than halfway there. You're like, you're liking this one, right? You're like, okay, designed to finish, not designed to quit, okay? It's not one of those things, it's like a challenge that only like the bravest and the strongest survive, nuh -uh. This is just seven days to get your mind and your body connected again. A lot of times we separate the two, right? We do things we don't really want to. We don't do things because we think we're too, it's too hard. This is something you finish and you move on to the next goal, right? Kind of just fills you up with a little bit of walking and running joy. Let's go 40 seconds on the clock. We take down, we take it down to a flat road. It's six, six isn't that bad, okay? We had one where we walked on an incline 12 for 30 minutes. Now that was some work, okay? That was some work. You got it, you got it. 15 seconds, ready for that flat road? You feel the difference coming off this hill. Oh yeah, in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take the incline down. Oh, yeah. Yep, what a difference already. I feel like a shorty, feel like shorty? You're only here for a minute. And then it's a seven on the incline. Seven. All right, we went four, five, six, seven. We skipped the one, two, and three. The two was in the warm up. The two, the one, and the three. We we're like, ah, we don't need that. We want to rank to four. All right, get ready because 20 seconds are going up. This last hill is only two minutes on the clock. Steepest hill, a little less time. So finish it with hands or butts. You got it, okay? You got 15 seconds. Come on. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Come on, pull it up. 7. 7 on the incline. There we go. You kind of get to the tempo. Right, left, right, left. Good. Keep it going, guys. I know that's what the walking workouts do for me. They're like, she gonna just keep dancing. I'll do this outside all day. Mind your business, people. I'm walking down the street. <laughs> keep your eyes forward. That's a dance move. Don't look at me. Eyes forward. I'm dancing on the tread. You ever see the people at the gym dancing on the tread? Gotta give them some credit, man. I love it. I love seeing them. I'm like, yo, get it, get it, get it. Anything to keep your body in motion, right? Don't burst nobody's bubble. Don't be that person taping them, making fun of them. Yo, they're living their best life. That's road. That's road. Guys, <laughs> we like to watch. We like to see people happy. Keep walking up the hill. So, you got one minute left on this hill. We take it off. You have a one minute recovery. It starts block number two. We start picking up the pace, okay? 
The good news is you can pull it off in the recovery. It's gonna be the same thing. Two minutes, three minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Then we change it up, okay? So just listen and does. Okay, 30 seconds. So your recovery here between block one and block two, I'm gonna suggest if you need a little moment to kind of recoup, take it. If you are just taking the incline off, you can take the pace down on this one. Kind of give yourself a real moment to recover. 10 seconds. Feeling good? I'm like just about to break the sweat. Three, two, one. You guys, if you are, you know what I'm talking about? It's like, I feel so hot. I feel like it's just one more step over and then it comes. Then it's gonna start the drip mode. All right, one minute recovery here. We start block number two. Two minutes, it's a three five to a four five. Now four or five for me, turns it into a shuffle, turns it into a jog. So just because it's four or five, doesn't mean you have to go that fast, okay? I would like you to add on a minimum of 0.3. Try that, okay? 15 seconds. You got it, you got it. Come on, come on. You got another. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, come on, add on point three. Add some minimum, you can add on point five. You could take it to the four or five, right? You could take it to 4.5. If you are, uh, even if you are shuffling and you're like, you know what, today you still swing so easily. I'm gonna get a hoard and go hold your back, okay? You go get it, young grasshopper. Get those wins, okay? Ain't nobody gonna say, you can't, you have to hold yourself back. This is one pack workout. No, you wanna go, go. Just come back. All right, you got 90 seconds. 90 seconds here. I don't know why I'm walking like this today. Okay, I am sassy today. So, follow my lead, okay? Hand talking on maximum. It's like I just, you know why? Because my tread has like these two nozzles here. And while I'm walking, I got these big beefcake arms. I hit the nozzles. I'm just like, try not to hit the dainty little lady, not hitting the nozzles. Okay, here we go. You got one minute left. Then we take it back down to that recovery pace. So you can take that 0.3 off, 0.4 off, whatever you put on, you could take off. <clears throat> if it's too easy, you can keep it here. And then the next one, you add on even more. You see what I'm doing here? It's kind of opening up your mind to not get stuck in the thought process of taking out, taking off. This is too easy and you know you can do more. You can bump it up from here. Just saying. Here we go, 30 seconds. You got it, you got it, you got it. It's gonna go by fast. We're, by the time we finish this next one, halfway through the workout. Let's go, 15 seconds. You got 10. Eight, six, five, four, three, two. You can take off whatever you put on. You guys feeling good? Oh yeah, Rachel, we feeling good. Yeah, only here for a minute. All right. And then we're uh, picking up that power walk for three minutes this time. Maybe see if we can add on a little bit more. Test the limits. Right, if you never just add, if you never just slowly creep on, even if it's point one, right, you never do that, you're never gonna progress, even if it's point one. I'm not even kidding. Like you say, one week, I always run at a five five. Say that's your, say that's your pace. The moment like you just run at a five six, I know, I'm gonna tell you real quick, yeah, your body's not gonna know the difference. That's a mental thing. I want you to start taking yourself out of that mindset that, you're a creature of habit. That you have to do the same pace. You have to do the same things. You don't have to. Keep trying new things, all right? Here we go. Three, two, pick up that pace. Let's go, baby. Add on, three, five, four, five. It's our power walk. This one is for three whole minutes. All right, three whole minutes. Work it out. 
if your tread goes to a 0.5 instead of like a zero to a one, add it on. Always have like a little bit of incline on it. It's a little softer on the knees, a little easier to move. You got it guys, come on, come on. What do you want today, right? Like I wanna finish this workout, Rachel. I know, guess what? You're halfway there, 20 more minutes and you're out of here. How good are you gonna feel when you finish this whole seven days though? Let me know if you got like a secret like congratulations gift for yourself. Maybe it's like you go get that cheat meal finally. I was saying this the other day in day two, right? Or maybe it was day one. Try to really commit, right? Seven days to this challenge. Just seven days to an all around healthier lifestyle. See if you can do that. Obviously it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to say like I'm not eating sugar. No carbs, chicken and rice, or chicken and veggies the whole week. You don't have to do that. But like, maybe if you really like to drink, I'm just gonna commit seven days, no drinking, I'm taking my fitness serious. If you like commit mind, body, and spirit, like physically, internally, what you eat, right, for seven days, I bet you by the next week, you're really not gonna wanna like do more damage. You're not gonna wanna go back to your old patterns. You're like, I kind of really like the way that you feel, right? I feel great after the seven days. I kind of want to keep it going. I bet, I bet more than 50 or 60% of you, if you commit to it, I'm gonna, you're going to put it in the comments. I'm going to be like, oh, oh, half your lifestyle, half your choices. I would say like maybe six months ago, seven months ago, drinking would have been my vice, right? I like me a nice glass of wine. I'm not going to lie. Lately though, I really just don't like the what it does to me. I don't like the way it makes me feel the next day. I don't like the way it makes me feel kind of in the moment. I just really like, I work so hard and I know you work hard too here. So like, there's okay to enjoy yourself, but know the limit, there's a line, right? If it's every single night, maybe, maybe we don't do it every single night. Maybe it's only for special occasions. Every other weekend, Fridays only, I don't know. Just saying like a healthier lifestyle is going to keep you motivated to want to come back and work out the inners and the outers. All right. You can take that pace down in three, two, one. You can drop it down just a little. One moment for two, recover. That went by fast at three minutes, right? I had to double check, make sure I was doing it right. <laughs> And I was like, wait, that, that was my only two. That had to only be two minutes. All right. So we are recovering. We have another three minute. Recover. Another one minute. Then you're already in. Dun, 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 dun. Block number three. It goes that fast. Okay. We weren't lying. It goes that fast. So I'll tell you block three when we get there. Stay strong. We got to. 20 more seconds, 15 more seconds, we go back to our power walk. It's at three, five, four, five. You guys have already been here. We've already done it. We're just doing it again, okay? You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Add it on. Add it on, baby. Add it on, add it on, add it on, add it on. Come on. Squeeze those glutes. All right. Fist bumping. I love me a good beat drop. We already know that. I'll teach and spin sometimes when the beat drops. <sighs> Amazing, right? Same with running. Beat drops. You want to go power walk? Yes. Come on. Feeling all right? It's not so bad, this one, right? It's like you go hard for a couple days, you get a little treat. You get a little treat. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. Spoiler alert, we're doing that whole kind type of circuit again, right? Two runs, a walk, seven days, kind of get my drift. And then there's a grand finale. Don't tell anybody they have to get to day three before I give them the roadmap for the whole entire seven day challenge. That's a secret, okay? 
Guess what? You're almost halfway there. Woo! Starting to feel it in the abs. When I walk on the incline, right, I can feel it in my core. But I'm starting to feel it. I'm walking a little bit faster. You got it. How you feeling? You're like, I'm fine. I know you're fine. I know you're fine. Stay with me. Don't leave. Don't drift. Stay focused on your body. Good. Coming up. You got one more minute here. We take it down. And then we only have one more of these power walks. In block number two. Okay. What, I was just kind of, I said that because I was looking at block number three. You go like it. Imagine if block number one and block number two had a baby. <laughs> That's it right there. That's block number three. Okay. 40 seconds. We're going to take the sucker back up or back down on pace. Oh, little flick of the finger and I just added on more speed. I will keep it. Accepted. Not changing it. Definitely if that happens, I'm going to say it's a universal sign. Now I got to work harder. 20 seconds. It's at 3.040. It's your moment to recover. We're about 26 minutes into the workout. So you may be, right, you went hard day one and day two. Maybe your body is freaking pooped today. It's okay to take it down to that three. Really take a moment to recover. Don't have to keep it fast and speedy the whole entire time. Three, two, you can take it down. It doesn't mean you have to like make the whole thing. You, every time I say recover, you take it down to a three. It's like sometimes you're just like, you know what, this one, I feel I'm like a, I need a moment. Take your moment and then get back to work. Everybody can sit, have a sip of water, right? And then get back to work, okay? Yeah, 40 minutes. We have about 13 minutes left of the whole entire workout. You guys can give me 13 minutes, okay? Guess what, it doesn't get much harder just the last little bit might be the hardest part. But I honestly think I know that it's really going to not be that crazy for you guys. You've been working hard this whole entire time. So get ready. Two minutes power walk. Three, five, four, five, and seven, six, five, four, three, two. Add it on, baby. Let's go. Two minutes on the clock. So after this two minutes, this recovery takes us to block number three, the grand finale. There's only three intervals to the last six minutes of this whole entire workout in block number three. All right, the first one, we go back to the hills, get a moment to recover. The second one, we go back to this power walk. Then we have that moment to recover. And the very last one, we add them together. You're gonna give me power walk on an incline. The last two minutes. It's not the craziest thing you've done. Yesterday, I feel it was a whole lot crazier, right? You ran those seven minutes straight and you slowly increased your pace. I didn't forget. I know you didn't forget. <laughs> ah, guys, I know you didn't forget, okay? So, just try a little something different. Some people think, Sometimes, if I'm really pooped, man, I think walking is harder. I get so used to running at a certain pace, moving my body a certain way, that this heel to toe, this walking on an incline, it works like a different type of body, right? Different type of muscles. So sometimes walking is a little harder for people. <sighs> We're almost there. How good are you gonna finish though? How good are you gonna feel after you finish the seven days? How good are you gonna feel after you finish this one? Another one in the books, people. 30 seconds. We got it. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Just breathe. Come on. You're almost there. Full recovery moment in another 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, take the pace down a little bit. Good. All right, this is it. This is it. Block number three is happening. 
Remember, there is six minutes left in this block. I'm not really counting the recoveries in between, but if we're counting, then the last eight minutes of this workout. The very last two minutes of this workout are a cool down, right? Go. You're cooling down. It's not even work no more. 30 seconds. We go back to those hills. 3040, four on the incline. Just the baby hill. It's the baby hill. So everybody gonna finish. Okay. <sighs> Let it out. 20 seconds we go. I know a whole minute goes by pretty fast. Let's go last 10. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me a four on the incline. If you want, it's, it's a 3040. Oh, oh. You can pick a pace if you are on that slower side. Squeeze those glutes. Every time I'm walking, right, I feel my, my buttons squeeze. I thought focus on that, right? Lift the butt, lift the butt, lift the butt. Get that booty, right? That summer booty. Gir boys, too, we all like them summer booties, okay? Just because you a man doesn't mean you can't work out your glutes. All the women and any other people who like men booties, uh, we all think we agree. <laughs> so don't skip, don't skip, don't skip, don't skip. Okay? Let's go. You're almost there, guys. You ready? Just remember what I was saying yesterday? Really good at taking numbers away. Just think. You got eight more minutes left. Let's go. Let's work. So after this, the hill comes down. One minute to recover. Then we go to that power walk. Come on. 40 seconds. This is a nice chill one. I'm into this. It's like going to the spa, except you're, you're actually putting in work. <laughs> Some of the workouts would be hard. The seven day challenge, is it can be hard as you want it to be because like the paces are there for beginners and for advanced people. So, whew. let's go, 15 seconds. What do you want? How do you get it? Let's go in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down. Take it down to that flat road. I'm going to keep my recovery pace the same pace I was working at. And then for the next one, just add on more. Because it is the last round. It is the grand finale. Right? You only have two more intervals. This two-minute power walk. Then we have a minute to recover. And this two minute power incline, where we add those two together. Oh yeah, baby, if you didn't think that was gonna happen, then you're crazy. <laughs> we took option A and option B and then turned it into option C because I had a baby. All right, here we go. <sighs> keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. That feels nice, right? You ready to pick up the pace though? You got 15 seconds. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, pick up the pace, add on point 0.2, point 0.3, keep working here, listen, we're here, right, we're going to finish, so just like not even complain about it, smile, smile, Be good, one minute, 45 seconds, There's 33 minutes into this workout. We end exactly on 40. So you're almost to the finish line. Oh yeah. Step to the beat. One, two, one, two, one, two. 90 seconds left. Ooh, ooh. You guys are looking good. You guys get a little sweaty now? Oh yeah. Oh, come on Pace, don't go down. See? That's why I gotta walk with my hands up here. If I'm not paying attention, it's just adding on more pace. <laughs> Last minute.
call this one throwing it away throw it away we don't want it no more whatever this dance move is i'm into it whatever the song is come on i'm into this let's go you got 30 seconds left could you believe that i know that's what happens when you dance into the beat the time just seems to vanish let's go team Get ready to take that in, I'm sorry, take that pace off. Taking the pace off in 20 seconds. We take it down to a 3.040. It's your recovery pace. It's the last moment to recover before the grand finale, the last two minutes of final work in this workout in four, three, two. Can you take it down just a smidge? Okay, you're only here for a minute. The last one, three, five, four, five, four on an incline. All right, it's that baby hill. Not even asking you to go super high up to that seven. You're just gonna add on a little bit more pace. Whatever your last power walk was, right? You're doing that on a four incline. Hopefully you picked it up. Okay, 40 seconds till we get there. There's no if, ands, or buts, okay? You have two more minutes of work. How do you wanna leave this workout? How do you wanna finish it? It's all about choices, right? You get to choose. That's a beautiful thing I'm about treadmill workouts, about running, about walking. It's you against you always, right? So don't hold yourself back because it's the last two minutes and you're tired, you're sore, you want to give up. Change your mindset. Do I only have two minutes? Let's go hard and see what this body can do for me. Five, four, four on the incline, pick up the pace. Three, five, four, five, let's go. Two minutes. You against you. You're almost there, guys. Just keep walking. Just keep working. It's not gonna stop early, all right? The only way to get to this finish line is to finish each and every single piece of it. Don't jump off the sides and wait for time to pass. You're just walking. Take that stress, whatever that thought process is that's weighing heavy on you, throw it away. That no longer exists, okay? It's just this moment we live in and all we're focused on is walking for another minute. That's it. Make it seem so simple that it sounds silly not to finish. You can do that, right? Because a lot of the times, especially when we're on the running side of the treadmill workouts, it's a mental thing that we do. This should mentally make you feel great when you're off. When you're done, when you're going through it, yeah, you get a little sweaty, right? But when you're done, you're like, ooh, baby, look at me. Got the tingles. Oh, guess what? You got 30 seconds. 30 seconds to make it work. You're gonna take it to a flat road 3040, back to that recovery pace. 20 seconds. Let's work. Last 10, eight, six, five, four, three, Two, three, oh, four, oh, take that incline down, flat road. How are you feeling, team? Put in some miles, you know? You're here for a minute, and then we go to our full cool down. That's a two, five, three, five. Let's just recap what we did. So we had three blocks. Remember, this was our low impact power and hills walk. So we did both, right? So the first block, all hill work. The good news is you have a recovery moment between each of them. Second block, all power work, right? Again, you have a moment to recover between each of those intervals. And then block number three, we worked our way up, right? To morphing the two together. So just think, if you're like a person who's like walking really isn't a workout, there's so much more we could do. We could push it a lot harder. This is our low impact. It's supposed to be, right, like a moment to recover. Take it down to a two, five, three, five. After all the hard work that you put in on day one and day two, all right? If you need more, right, do it again. Make sure you're on the highest, uh, highest paces. 
You don't have to like take it easy just to take it easy. But if you're like sore, right, from day one and day two, this is where you need to be, right? You just need to learn that consistency is the key. So not going day one and day two and then waiting till you're not sore anymore to go to day three, day four, right? Take a moment, keep your body in motion, but be a little nicer to it. Huh. <sighs> Phew, got it done and out of the way. Now, also, once you finish this, right, you only get this when you finish this workout. This is our secret emoji for today. Bam, bam, bam. Flex that bicep. If you see anybody, your friends, your family, anybody in the comments, do this. They did the same thing you did. They're on the same journey as you. High five, right? It's so much nicer to do things with the team than do them by yourself. Remember, this is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. Day three of our no uh, November challenge, our low impact power walks in hills. You can hit that stop button in three, two, one, and I'll see you next time.